Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate multi track drums for editing in Reaper. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to record drums or any multi track source by using one track like this. Setting up our input with multi channels right here. We used eight channels and recorded all of it to this one track. And as a reminder, let's hear what it sounded like. Which makes it easier for editing as we can switch takes like this. Just separate them, then choose them, hit the T key, and go from one take to another without having to do it on multiple tracks at the same time. And we set up separate tracks in the mixer right here to mix each channel separately. Our kick, snare, toms, overheads, and rooms are separate tracks from this recording drum track. And we turn them on and off in the track manager. Right here, our drum track is just in the track control panel and the individual drum tracks are just in the mixer. And we did this by setting up sends right here. Sending on a channel by channel basis, channel one for the kick, two for the snare, three and four for the toms, five and six for the overheads, and seven and eight for the rooms. So we sent from our recording track to our mixing tracks, where we can mix everything right here, along with adding effects up here. Again, making it easier to switch takes and do editing on all the channels at the same time, which is typically how you edit drums. For example, if I want to adjust this snare hit right here, I would split it before and after, and just move it around, hold on the PC, option on the Mac, like this, to change the timing of all the drum tracks together, which is typically what you want to do. But there are times where you still want to adjust each drum separately. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go back to the Track Manager, go to View, and choose Track Manager. Then we're going to view the individual drum tracks in the track control panel. Right here, just select them, hit this button. Let's make this drum track smaller. Now we can see the individual drum tracks in the track control panel along with the drum track. So now we want to duplicate this audio to these tracks. But first, let's turn on locking, right click it, and make sure we're locking to prevent left right movement with our items. This way our drums won't go out of time. Then we'll double click the drum track and duplicate it to the other tracks. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and just drag it to each track we used. Then we can mute this track as we don't need it right now. Let's hide it in the track manager right here. I like to save it in case I want to recomp the drums later. But now we're going to play the drums from the individual tracks instead of sending it from the other track. But if we play it right now, it's going to sound weird as every drum is going to play on each track. That sounds weird. So we need to change the channel mode for each of our items. And luckily, that's really easy to do in Reaper. Let's go to the Actions menu, Show Action List. I'm going to search in the filter channel mode. And from here, there's a bunch of actions that change the channel mode for the items. Let's first select all the items on the kick track, select the track, and double click it. Then we're going to choose this action over here, which is going to set the channel mode to mono or left, which is really the first channel. Run it. Now we just have the kick on this track. Play it. 
which is exactly what we want. And just do the same thing for each track. Choose the snare and double click it. And for this, we're going to use mono right. Run it, and we just have the snare on this track. And do the same thing for the others. But for the toms and the overheads in the rooms, we're going to need to use a stereo mode. Select it and double click it, and scroll down to the stereo options. We'll use three and four for the toms. Run it. Five and six for the overheads. And seven and eight for the rooms. So now the drum should sound exactly the same. Let's compare it to what we had before. Let's mute all these items. Show our drum track and hear it from here. The drums sound exactly the same. But now we could edit them on a track by track basis. Let's say we want to adjust the timing of one of the kick hits. Just zoom in. Let's turn off locking. Split the item over here and here, and just adjust it like this. Do the same for the snare or adjust the timing. Select it, split it before and after. And we can adjust the timing like this, just on the snare track. Or let's say we wanted to clean up the toms with it not being hit. We can just select these items and clean it up. Do the same with this one. Now the toms aren't playing when they're not being hit. So we can do anything we want to edit the individual tracks instead of editing them as a group. Like I said, I tend to prefer to edit all the drums together, and we can still do that in this mode. Let's zoom in. And let's say we want to edit this snare. Just select all these items. Go before, split it, and after, and just edit all these tracks together. If you want to edit all the drum tracks together or separately, it just gives us more options. But I still prefer to record to the one track, making it easier to comp our performances or takes. So that's pretty much it. That's how to separate multi-track drums for editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>